forget to click on the bell icon. You'll always be the first to know when I upload a new video. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. And if you're new, please consider subscribing to this channel. Support this channel by subscribing to this channel. Remember, we are still talking about the new law that will come into effect in the UAE in 2022. We are trying to see what benefit of this law does the employee have or what are the benefits that the employee will accrue from this new law that will come into effect in February 2022. That's what we call the new UAE labor law. In this video, we are trying to, do, to, to break down the small segments that you need to understand clearly. If you're going to work in the UAE, if you're planning to go to UAE, for any form of work, you need to understand what benefits do you have in the new law. When you try to break the small segments, where do you fall and what are your entitlements, what are your benefits as you, the employee. That's what we are trying to look at in these videos. That's why I decided to break all the small segments such that you can clearly understand and understand where you fall, where the benefits are coming from, where you benefit from, and what actually you need to have or what did you need to access and what you need to have at a given period of time. In today's video, we are going to look at the other segments. Remember we talked about the segment in the gratitude, where are you benefiting from? We talked about the parental and the maternity leave for those mothers, the breastfeeding mothers and the pregnant ladies. They are aware of that benefits they have in the new law that will come into effect in February 2022. Let's go straight into this video. We want to try to look at for those that have babies with disabilities, where do you benefit from? And for those that get to lose or you get to lose your loved one, your spouse, your grandmother, your father, your, 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 your family member, Next of kin, do you have any privilege in the new law coming? Do you have any entitlement in the new law coming? Because we are all very anxious and very happy with the new law. But these are small things that we need to understand and clearly know where we are supposed to have our benefits from. So let us look at in this segment. When you lose your loved one, what does the law say? about that. If you have a baby with a disability, what does the law say about that? So I'll get to straight into the, uh, some of the breakdowns and i read to you what it means and what are your entitlement. For scenario one, if you have a baby with disabilities, what does the law say? I want you to listen carefully. Employees with the babies who have disabilities may be entitled to an additional six days leave on a full pay. If you have a baby with a disability, there is no qualifying requirement for that. But as per your company, you will be entitled to a 60 days leave but with a full payment of the salary. That is quite very interesting. So for people who have been employed and you have the baby, you've lived how with a disability, you are worried every time you go to work, you are worried how that baby will be, how that baby will get to go along with other people, definitely, this is the lucky time that we have. You'll be entitled to 60 days leave but with full salary payment. Let us try to go to, to scenario two, where you have lost a compassionate, we call it compassionate love. You've lost someone that you feel has been part of you. What does the law say? Many of us, we get to go to these workplaces. These companies we go to, remember, no one knows you better than you know yourself or your family members in one way or the other. But we get to lose people that we cannot, we cannot even go back in that immediate time to go 
take on what you call the burial rituals in one way or the other because of the nature of the work that we get to do. But now, where is this amendment? Let's see what does the law say. Employees will be entitled to a five days paid leave for death of their spouse and a three days paid leave for death of a parent, child, sibling, grandchild, grandparent. Remember, all this, there is no qualifying service requirement. Meaning that for any of those categories I've mentioned, if you get to lose any of the loved ones in that category, you'll be entitled to rational five days leave to three days leave, and all those days will be fully a full salary payment as per the new law come. Thank you so much for tuning in to this channel. Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to press on the bell like notification bell. It's the only way you'll be alerted when we upload a new video. We are still trying to break it down and try to look at the small segments that are being discussed in that will uh, discuss in the new law uh, that will come into effect in the UAE in February 2022. Thank you so much. See you again in the next video. It's Mix from the Mix Creation TV.